Welcome to the EA Sports NHL 23 Gameplay Deep Dive. We're excited to show you some all new features like last chance puck movement, real time strategies, X Factor updates, and more. Last Chance Puck Movement is a new series of desperation gameplay animations that add an extra layer of authenticity and excitement to the game. Now, if you receive any level of contact, from light bumps to heavy shoves, you'll still be able to react. Previously, when this happened, there was a loss of offensive player control to reward defense, but that never really felt authentic and mostly impeded the action. We wanted to fix that to keep the flow of the game moving and create more dynamic and unique plays. We've also added a new mechanic, where if you double tap, either shoot or pass while skating towards a loose puck, you'll be able to make a diving, desperation attempt at the puck. To make all these new desperation animations feel authentic, we focused on replicating real-world examples seen in the NHL. And what started as a small set of 25 animations expanded to the over 500 you'll find in the game. It's also important for us to ensure the feature is balanced, so we added these moves in defensive situations as well. And if a defensive player is in a good position, those desperation plays can be easily countered. To ensure authenticity, we try to keep you on your feet as much as possible before resorting to these more compromised and unideal shots. Strategies. To help give you more control over the action, we've updated our strategies across the board. We've added two new strategies to NHL 23. The first being the 1-3-1 one, one power play, and on the penalty kill, we've added the 1-1-2, one, one, which you might know as triangle plus one or wedge plus one, that serves as a good counter to the 1-3-1. One, one. We've also added the ability to rearrange the player positions before and after the faceoff, which will increase your ability to set up plays. Plus, you can now assign three different roles on the power play. Distributor, finisher, and puck carrier. The AI will know who to distribute the puck to based on their role, position, situation, and X-Factor tendencies. We also added a new feature this year called Assisted Strategies. These will pop up in-game and let you know when there's an opportunity for your strategy to shift on the fly and give you a better chance to either get back into or finish the game. X-Factors are our most significant in-game abilities, and this year we've added a pair of new ones and updated the existing suite. The two new X-Factors are Trevor Zegers' Skilled Up, which lets you recreate his viral flip pass over the net, and Sarah Nurse's Relentless, which increases your ability to shoot and pass while off balance. We've also been working on retaining and balancing the existing abilities and improving the underutilized ones and how they line up with the more popular ones. AI. This year, we focused on updating our AI's goaltending and teammate awareness abilities. AI goalies will now have access to more tools than ever, with over 300 new save animations that were previously only available to human goalies, adding more authenticity to their role. We also address the fundamentals, like improving goalie intelligence and ensuring we're rewarding proper positioning and puck tracking. And in an update to AI skaters, they'll now gesture to indicate when a player is open and which player is most dangerous when on the defensive side. They'll also lift their stick to show when they're taking a line change. These moments all lead to more authentic on-ice interactions and dynamic gameplay. Based on your feedback on NHL 22, we reworked pass assist, reducing the number of times you'll feel like you're completely off target, specifically on powered and out of vision passing. And to balance that, we're improving the ability to intercept or disrupt those passes if you're well positioned, but the offensive player will still be able to pass the puck behind the defender if they're positioned well so the defenders won't act like a brick wall. We've also heard your feedback around poke checks, so we reduced player movement speed while in the defensive skill stick and decreased the effectiveness of poke checks when chasing or in a poor position. In addition, we increased puck carrier speed to create more separation between players and ensure that the fastest skaters in the league act like it. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back in September to showcase more NHL 20 celebration. We've really upped our game when it comes to the Stanley Cup celebration. In previous years, we've had a non-interactive sequence and that's worked pretty well, but this year we wanted to give the players some agency that's fully interactive. One of the biggest wish fulfillment moments is that tradition in the real NHL of who gets the cup next. We're going to populate the list of names based on approximately 65 different stories that we're tracking under the hood from the veteran that has never won the Stanley Cup to the assistant captain that also leads the team in goals. When the user selects a player, we hear through the commentary, we justify that decision. 
Well, here was a key contributor tied for most goals on the team en route to a Stanley Cup win, Ray. Well, I was just most impressed with how he played game to game. And then at some point in the playoffs, I'm like, he's scoring all the time. It looks awesome. Obviously, we've completely re mo the entire sequence, but we've also added the effects, confetti falling from the roof, and of course, like the sparklers that are firing in the background, and it all looks tremendous. After the Stanley Cup has been won, we have this moment where, and this is true, true wish fulfillment, where you finally get to see your name etched on the Stanley Cup. Whatever the player list of the team is, you're ultimately going to see that name etched in the Stanley Cup, and it's a really cool sequence. It's a total revamp of one of the greatest moments inside of our game. We decided to completely revamp this year. As soon as you score a hat trick goal, we see from a wide shot just a raining down of an incredible amount of hats, but it's so awesome. We were like, let's let's ship with that. Inside of Eshel World of Chell, we give users the ability to kind of create their own tradition. You can have teddy bears, you can have alien plushies, you can have fish, plastic rats, and roses. The work we did in Game Day Atmosphere really changes the entire game. We did a total overhaul of the crowd audio this year. When something happens on the ice, you'll hear it from the crowd. The home team gets a penalty. The, the home team is going to get on the referee and start booing them. At first, it'll be subtle, but as that penalty differential kind of grows, as do the boos. If you're playing a game where you come back, perhaps you win an OT, you're going to get a completely different animation that is properly representative of how hyped the home team is. The intros were in need of some maintenance. We knew we wanted to add some more emotion. If you're familiar with what we call on-ice projections, these big animated graphics that get projected onto the ice during the pregame, we've added them this year. And it's not just for authentic teams, but it's also for World of Chell and, and Eshel. You actually see the fans waving around these awesome light sticks. And those are also fully customizable inside of World of Chell and Eshel. Users can change their colors and it really adds to this incredible atmosphere. We're finally adding the national anthems. And what you'll hear is the final few chords of the respective national anthem. And the players will be lined up at their respective blue lines. In World of Chell and Eshel, users will be able to select and customize whichever flag they want from all the major hockey nations. This year, we've gone kind of fully 3D with AR, and we continue using kind of that face-off moment to show the user meaningful stats, but not slow the gameplay down. Really, it's about the leaderboard, giving you so many interesting, deep insights. It can show things like top scorers on your team, top hitters, top assists, top points. It's all about the players and wanting to bring it home through getting the proper skin shading model and eye shading model by aligning with the other sports titles, we have a massive amount of engineering power that we can access. We have the skin dual lobe shader, which allows us to adjust the light bouncing off the epidermis and hitting the oil on top of the skin so we can simulate sort of mild exertion without them looking too greasy, of course. And then we have the dual lobe shading on the eyes also. So it represents like the spec response of light that goes to the cornea and you get all this sense of light reflecting off the eyes. I know people really like metal things. People love shiny things. And this is us pushing our new shading models to the limit. We now have the Vegas Golden Knight helmets and we have a metal option for recolorable helmets so users can customize their equipment so they can have metal helmets or metal gloves. A fan favorite, you can pick a mirrored visor within the customization flow. Players look super cool. You can go all metallic and get your mirrored visor and go full Terminator on the ice. We're getting realistic visualizations of equipment and we're bringing them into the game. New unique geometry for goalie gear, player helmets, player skates, and player gloves. We've also done about 200 new vanity items, and we've been updating our generic head pool to represent more diverse ethnic backgrounds. We have a, a large pool of women being represented, not just in our star heads, but in our generic head pool as well. We have ice resolution upgrades, so they really hold up on the 4K televisions. And we also have ice displacement 
that happens on the ice. So you get this realistic ice buildup that accumulates around the goalie and then around the sides of the boards, skate spray accumulation on boards. We felt that really helped bring out the personality. Leagues. We're gonna allow players to play with any number of teams, any number of games played, divisions, conferences, really customized leagues to the rosters that they wanted to create or share with others. But you can select anywhere from six to 48 teams, as well as any number of divisions and conferences within the number of teams that you have. So if you want a 48 team, zero conferences and eight divisions setup, you can do that. The original six where they just play each other in the league, you can do that. You'll also have the ability to turn off what the minimum cap is. So if you're creating an era from the past, you can turn off the salary cap. But now we're also giving you the granularity of what's the max cap. Dynamic schedules will let you do anything from setting the number of round robin rounds that you want to play. You can even set the number of division games, conference games, interdivision games, interconference games, depending on your league setup. And you can set those from anywhere from 20 to 84. You can set wins from anywhere from one to four points. You can change the points for losses, or you can change the format in which the playoffs are played. You can also set whether or not the wild card standings format is enabled. And we also have a new thing called the wild card round, which allows you to have a play in round similar to the NHL bubble back in 2020. Depending on the number of rounds you've selected, you'll be able to change the number of games played in each of those rounds. We support one game, three games, five games, or seven games, as well as a two game aggregate. So if you want to play a seven game series where you play the first three games away and then the next four games at home, you can do that if you want to play an alternating schedule. We allow you to do that as well. If you wanted to change the schedule for the AHL, you can do that. Everything you can do with the NHL schedule or playoff format or the league setup in general, you can do that. If a player this year creates a 48-team custom roster, you're able to go in and after downloading that roster sharing file, you'll go into custom leagues and then you can sub in all the teams that the player created if they're not NHL teams into franchise mode in custom leagues. And then you can recreate the league in whichever way you want to with those 48 teams. There's just so many cool things that our players did last year. We really wanted to give them the power to take the next step having fun in franchise mode. Our number one focus for World of Chell this year was the implementation of cross-platform matchmaking. When it arrives in November, PlayStation and Xbox players in the same console generation will be able to play against one another across all World of Chell online modes for the first time in franchise history. And now that our matchmaking pools are essentially doubled, you'll be spending less time in the queue and more time on the ice. The early prototype is promising, and we couldn't be more excited to implement this as well as continue to work on connecting our players as best as possible. It's worth mentioning that cross-platform matchmaking is also completely optional and can be toggled on or off by all players. Because of the expanded matchmaking pools, we've updated our servers to better allocate to where our players are based and added a new server aimed at helping players in the central part of North America. One of the largest quality of life asks we get from our community is the ability to open hockey bags faster. This year, we've added the ability to go quickly from one bag to the other, allowing you to open them at a much faster pace than ever before. We've also added a dedicated strategy screen where you can access our new and existing strategies to fine tune your team play. You'll also find a new wide range of customization options for your team and player. Based on your feedback last year, we've tuned the preset attributes on multiple classes to ensure balance. This includes increasing the starting attributes, giving you a higher starting overall to work with. We've also added additional loadout slots, giving you more flexibility and choice from game to game. We understand that having to come into NHL and set your team up for each and every game in online versus, that's not where the fun lies. And we want players to get into that next experience, that next game as quickly as possible. So this year, we're giving you the ability to save your lines and strategies for online versus. This also partners well with the new strategies that we have in the future set for 23. And it was important to us that we get this in the game, get you into every match as quickly as possible. Remove